One of the most frequent questions that I get asked from people is that people say that I fall in love with this person and I get too much attached to him or her and it hurts both of us, right? It hurts me and to the, the other person. How can I love someone without getting attached to that person? That is one of the frequent questions that people ask from me. Well, to understand about this, first of all, you need to understand what is the difference between love and attachment. I'll tell you the difference. If you are in love with someone, if you fall in love with someone, this means the pure love, the love, I would say, you say that I need you to be happy. Okay, that's what you say. I need you to be happy. If that happiness includes me, that's much better. If, does, if it does not include me, it's okay. Anyway, I need you to be happy in your life. That is love. And in attachment, you say, you need to make me happy. Okay? If, if they don't, if they're not able to uh, make you happy, then what do you say? Why aren't you making me happy? Okay? The love you give to me and uh, the, the things that you to do to me is not enough. That's what you say. That is called attachment. Okay? So, did you see the difference? That means, in love, you think about other people's happiness. Okay? As a result of thinking other people's happiness or wishing other people's happiness, you get the same thing back. Okay? But in attachment, you wish your own happiness. Only that. You become, it's, it's a form of selfishness, okay? So, this is the difference between love and attachment. So, how attachment happens? Here's how it happens. You see this person and you think like, oh, he or she is perfect for me. He's the best thing for me. And I want to be with that person forever. I need to be with him or her forever. I, know, I don't want to let that person uh, go of my life. Okay, I don't want that. let that person to live my life. I need to be with that person. In that case, you hold on to that person tightly. Okay, you grab that person and you don't want to let go of that person. Then, what you do in the next step, you try to protect him or her. Okay, sometimes you overprotect him or her. So some people, they, restri they put restrictions, right? okay? You should not use social media. You should not go and talk with other people, right? You should not come out of house. Remember, the more you try to hold on to someone's life, okay? And the more you try to control someone's life, chances are very, very high for you to lose that person. Because if you dive into the Buddha's teachings, Okay, when you dive in deep into Buddha's teachings, Buddha says that you live in your own private world as well as others. Okay, same like you, other people are also living in their private world. You create your own private world, you create your own happiness, you create your own sadness, and everything that you create is created by yourself. Okay, your world is created by yourself. So, it goes same with others, okay? They are living in their private world, okay? Same as you like to be happy and same as you like to be free, those people around you likes to be happy and free, okay? So, what happens when you try to uh, put restrictions on someone? What, do you, what happens is they don't like it. Okay, no one likes to be under totally under control of someone. Okay, they need to have some sort of freedom in their life. So chances are very high for you to lose that person if you try to protect and overprotect and hold on to it and hold on to that person. And you think like I need to be with that person. And what happens next is you become afraid of losing that person. You think, what if that this this guy or this person left leave me? Okay, what will happen to me? Okay, my whole world will be uh, be a disaster. Okay, remember, the reality of life is no one in this world is permanent. Okay, 
everyone, everything, every experience in this life is subjected to change. That is the reality of life. So that is that is how attachment happens. But in love, you come to the reality. Okay? When you love someone correctly and purely without too much attachment, you you come to this reality to to this real world you know that these people around me are not going to live forever with me it's not going to happen now one of the things that both the advised us to remember every time every single day and every single time it is uh, that it, it is possible to remember buddha said remember that everyone around you okay every person who loves you and who you love is going to leave you okay you have to be separated from these people i know it is painful it is difficult to think because we love people okay we are afraid of losing them but one day in one way or another okay in sooner or later this will happen at least at the death it will happen so we have to leave these people around us okay we are not going to live forever so when you realize that that is the reality okay when you realize that you come to the reality and think okay i have a very very little time with these people actually the life is short okay we have if we live if it if nothing happened to us we will live only for maybe like 85 years who knows okay So life is very short. Then you know that I'm not going to live with this person forever. So what do you do? You show your love, affection, kindness and compassion to this person in the best way that you can in this little time because you know that you have a very little time. Okay? So to love someone, you need to understand the reality of life. What is the reality of life? everything is subjected to change okay everything is ever changing that is called anicca in buddhism okay it is not permanent it is impermanent the second thing is that everyone in their own world is suffering okay we suffer in our own private worlds right so we have our own private and personal sufferings same like that others also are suffering in their life okay so if we expect that other people to fulfill all the needs and all the requirements 100% in our life that's not going to happen realize it okay because everyone personally is going through suffering understand about this that is called dukkha and the third one is that no one in this world is totally under your control you cannot control people around you totally okay that is called anatta you can you are out of control of this world okay the problem is we worry about the people that we cannot control okay can you control pe- people's behavior no you cannot do that can you p- control how people behave and how people treat you how people talk to you how people think about you no that is their own business okay so what you can control is how you live in this your in your life the way you live in your personal life that is totally under your control so understand these three things what is that everything is subjected to change everyone is suffering in their own worlds and not everyone in this world is totally under your control this is called the truth in this life this is called the reality in this life once you understand this you know and you will learn how to be compassionate on people okay have to love people and then you can wish no matter what happens to you if you stay with me or if you if you did not stay with me It's okay. I wish the good of you. I wish the happiness of you, okay? Then that love will never hurt you. Okay? But attachment when you get too much attached to people, it will definitely hurt you. So, wish the good for everyone. Wish the happiness on everyone and then you will find the peaceness that you are seeking for in your life. Namo buddhaya.